This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase. I'm Sherry. This is the quarterly event where we feature expert traders and bring you training and insights from 20 expert traders. We have prize giveaways for everyone in attendance. We're going to do some drawings. Uh, we have some surprise interviews. Please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. This is also where you're going to find the recordings for this event. And before we get it started, we have to share a quick disclaimer. You know it. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. This is training. You have to do your own research and you should always, always verify and research. So up next is Andrew Keene, and after Andrew is Norman Hallett, and then we're going to take a break for lunch. He's the president and CEO of Alpha Shark Trading, which he originally founded as Keene on the Market in 2011. And previously, he worked as a proprietary trader at the CBOE. He began his career in the prestigious Bata Capital, uh, quote-unquote, clerk-to-trade program and would eventually co-found KATL Group. And then uh, Andrew currently actively trades futures, equity options, currency pairs, and commodities. He's a regular guest market commentator on such networks as Bloomberg TV, CNBC, and Fox Business. His first love will always be trading, but he's arguably even more well-known for building a trading room. Andrew is especially proud of having taught his personal strategies to over 50,000 students over the past four years. Wow. In 2015, Andrew began appearing as a regular guest on CNBC's Trading Nation, where he focuses on educating viewers on equity options markets and the trading insights they provide. You can also find Andrew's contributions at Nadex and The Money Show. So welcome, Andrew, you are self-muted. I'm going to make you the presenter. That's and I have a question for you before you get started. It's an old bio. <laughs> old. You know, you look like you're like 20 years old, okay? So how can you possibly have all this experience? That's not the real question. But anyway, um, how did you get started in trading? So I graduated from the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana, Big Ten School. And then uh, there was job fairs for, you know, I was a finance major with a minor in accounting. And there was um, the job fairs and I had job interviews for anything. My dad was the one because I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago that told me that I should trade. And I literally looked at him. I go, Dad, you're crazy. Like, we go downtown. And, like, I'm just a kid at the time. I'm like, these guys wear these yellow jackets. They're, like, drunk at noon, like, jumping on the table, yelling and screaming at each other. So he told me to go to that I should do it. And then I went through a clerk to trade program, which took about a year to get through. I was making $2,000 a month. I was living at my parents' house in the suburbs. I had to take the 542 train every day to Union Station in Chicago. And then I learned how to trade from what I think is the best traders in the world. And those are the traders from the trading floor. And when I was on the floor, I was down there as long as I possibly could have. So I was down there for about almost a decade. And then what happened was, as technology evolves, as AI technology, as robotics, everything evolves, they started making weekly options and the, the margins for a market maker started to shrink. So you know, now you can get in any option and you can take off that option for one penny. Like I used to watch Natenberg and uh, Sheldon Natenberg and uh, Lawrence McMillan DVDs and the, the markets used to be so wide. So that drove the business out for me. But then every single day is the best time ever for a retail trader. And, you know, like I'll be, I only sit at my computer for like an hour and a half. Then I put my scanners on my phone. I trade through Thinkorswim Mobile. I go hit golf balls and I can be trading on when I'm hitting golf balls. It's great. Um, it really is amazing nowadays. Oh, thank you. Awesome. All right. I'm going to mute myself and you can take it away. All right. Thank you. How's everybody doing today? 
Uh, this is Hidden Market Reveals, Wall Street Secret Trades. And I will be in the background, um, like kind of trading. I am an active trader. I trade with real money um, every day. And I just see some Oracle calls being bought. And the way that I trade is a little bit different than anybody else. Basically, what I do is I watch for institutional order flow in the option market. So I went for the biggest and best traders in the world, place and allocate capital on certain trades, and then I just mimic their trades. I'll just show you one right now. Actually, I might have to pay up a couple pennies for these. They just bought some uh, Oracle calls. I'm going to try to buy some of these in Oracle next week, 91 calls. Um, so what I do is I trade institutional order flow. This is exactly how I traded when I was on the floor of the CBOE. And now I run one of the biggest audio and visual trading rooms in the world. We're going to give you guys all an opportunity to get in for a lowest price ever. This is our trading room. It runs all day long. As you can see here, we have 242 people. I run it for the first hour every day. When I run it, there's probably about 320 people. Audio and visual, so it's not a chat room. We have a proprietary-based scanner that shows us institutional order flow. And then, you know, like I said, I trade through Thinkorswim. Then we have another moderator that runs the room when I am not there. So we'll give you an opportunity to get in. A little risk disclaimer. I have to put this in every single webinar. Day trading, short-term trading, option trading is an extremely risky undertaking. It is generally not appropriate for someone for little to no capital. Low tolerance or risk. You can lose all your money when you trade. I am not an RIA, registered investment advisor. I do not trade on anybody else's money. If I make $1,000 in a day, it's all my money. If I lose $1,000 in a day, it's all my money too. So I do not, I cannot give recommendations or advice. I cannot tell you what you should do with your money. All I can tell you is what I do with my capital. I offer my opinion. So it is an educational product. Here's an example of a trade that we saw. This is literally copy and paste from one of our scanners. And let's break down this trade here. Some trader somewhere in the world, we don't know their stock or option position, bought 1,200 meta we should all know that's meta 16 2023 129 calls for 50 cents okay so 120 16 2023 uh 129 calls for uh, uh 50 cents okay so that was a signal that i announced to my subscribers in the trading room let's see what happens after they bought those calls. Meta stock, we can see here, the stock is the blue and absolutely on fire after the call options were bought. The call option went up 100% overnight after the signal hit the tape. This is me. Like I said, I used to be a regular contributor in CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Sky Australia, BNN, Canada, WCIU. I'm not really active as much on those networks um, because I'm not in Chicago and you know, I just, I'm in a place in my career where I don't do it. To be honest, I don't really do webinars anymore. You know, they asked me to do this webinar and I said that I would, but you know, I just kind of doing it as a favor for you guys. I'm not, I used to be of the webinar guy, I've done a thousand live webinars, but nowadays I just don't enjoy them as much. And I'd rather just run the trading room. So top left, uh, WCIU at SIBO. Uh, middle is Bloomberg, co-host of the show. Uh, top right, CNBC on San Diego. Bottom left, CNBC. Middle, CNBC. Bottom right, CNBC. Also written a couple books here. Um, my most famous book is Keen on the Market, Trade to, Trade to Win Using Unusual Option Activity, Volatility, and Earnings. The New Wave of Trading. How you can make millions trading stocks and options just like me. And like I said, my trading strategy is completely different than anybody else's in the world. I do not really look at charts, to be honest. I mean, I look at them a little bit, but basically, I just wait for the biggest and best traders in the world to place and allocate capital on a trade. And the simple and easy, I just mimic their positions. So let's go to the signal here that we saw hitting the tape. And I run one, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12. 14 proprietary based scanners throughout the day. So I have 14 scanners that spit out signals throughout the day in the derivative space. If you're an option or a stock person, you will love me. I will become your best friend. 
If you trade futures or Forex, I am not your guru. I'll be completely honest. I don't trade futures or Forex anymore. But if you're an option or stock person, you will absolutely heart me. So we saw the signal hit the tape. And I just have to send out one signal in Oracle. So just give me a second here because I am trading in the background. Trade Kings Plus by Oracle 331-2023. So I bought some Oracle next week, 91 calls. Do, 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 do. Sorry about this. I just have to send out a trade to my subscribers in Oracle that we saw some calls being bought. Okay, so this is the signal that hit the tape in um, the live trading room. I announced this trade to my subscribers. After I announced this trade to subscribers, you can see what happened. Stock went on fire in this option, double in value. And you guys all know, if you are an option trader, that the stock doesn't have to move that much for you to make money. OK, the stock does not have to move that much for you to make money. You can make money. If the stock just moves a little bit because options have a delta, a gamma, a theta and a vega. So option doesn't have to move a lot in meta. We see this. So on the black here, let me help explain this to you. This is the option volume. OK, that's the option volume. And then here on the chart, that's what happened to the price of the stock. Uh, I don't use Ichimoku Cloud as much anymore. I used to be a bigger, must use it a lot more. Here's an example of Lucid. I can actually show you guys one today that I announced to my subscribers. Let's look at this one today instead. This one's unbelievable. Uh, so today, some traders somewhere in the world came in and they started aggressively buying Marvell calls. And if my word doesn't come up, I can just show you on my scanner. So this is one of the scanners we run for the room. And this is one of the... Um, so some traders somewhere in the world, we never know their stock or option position, bought 1,966 Marvell weekly 43 calls. There is nowhere in the world you would have been able to get into this, get that signal, bought from the scanners that I helped build and create for my trade on the trading floor. Those Marvell calls right now are up to. 75 cents today. Okay. I don't like to show you examples from last week or two weeks ago. Look at that. 20 cents. And right now I just pulled up my watch list. Those calls are up to 75 cents. You bought 10 of them, $200 a risk, could have made $550. And that's just one of the signals that hit the tape. Um, and this hit in Marvell on our moonshot scanner. But let's just show you what they said in the presentation. Lucid, L-C-U-D, uh, L-C-I-D. Some trader somewhere in the world bought 6,204 L-C-I-D, the 1-6, 2023, uh, six and a half calls for 13 cents. $13 per one lot you could have got into this trade. You can see this is my account, real money, real time. We have over, you know, depending on the day, Three to 350 people show up. They saw me buy these in real time live with my account. So I came in here and I bought these and I bought these um, at 15 cents within two minutes, less than two minutes, actually like less than a minute and a half. I sold them from 15 to 19. I took 200 contracts. I don't trade that big anymore. And then, so I made $400. Not a bad trade. $400 here. Okay, $400. So this was the signal that we saw at the trading room. Once again, the black is the option volume. So we look for volume greater than open interest. Volume or how many contracts trade today. Open interest or how many exist today before today. So the black volume spike was on one of our proprietary based scanners. It was a trade that was announced live to my subscribers. What they chose to do with the signal, they're on their own. As you can see, 800 bucks in my pocket, cash position is closed in two minutes. The option was up 
5% in less than two minutes. Here's another example. Hit another one of our proprietary base scanners in US Steel, otherwise known as the letter X. Some trader somewhere in the world, we never know their stock or option position, but 1,036 US Steel X, 1-6, 2023, uh, 26 calls, $13 per one lot. Let's see the option volume on the chart. Let's see how the stock performed as well. Option volume on the chart, huge buyer of calls. The, other thing, the, the thing I always say at these presentations, do you think that these traders are trading on insider information? And I'm not going to answer the question. I'll just ask you the question. Do you think people in the world that are smarter, that have access to technology that we do not have, are trading on insider information? If your answer is no, fair enough. If your answer is yes, you'd probably be on my side, right? How do they know to buy U.S. steel calls? What happens to the stock? Stock goes up 600%, sorry, the options go up 600% in just three days. As you can see here, after they buy calls, the stock goes up in value. And we see this happening so many times that they buy call options, stock rips in value. I mean, today, Marvel, we just showed you the example, 20 cents to 75 cents. If you got into that trade, when I announced it to my subscribers, I can even show you the announcement I made to subscribers here. This happened this morning. Look at this. Buyer of Marvell calls, 734. That's probably in Pacific. So it happened at 934 that someone bought these calls for 22 cents. Those went to 75 cents. That's good for about 250% profit in less than a day. So as I talked about my history of how I started to trade, uh, simple and easy, I graduated from the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. And when I graduated, um, you know, my mom wasn't really thrilled about my decision. I had interviews to do investment banking, financial advisor, financial analyst. And um, basically, I decided to go through a clerk's trade program. So there is a company called Boda Capital Management, B-O-T-T-A, that said, you know, we'll pay you two grand a month. We will teach you how to trade. Okay, we'll pay you two grand a month. We'll teach you how to trade. I was like, sure, sounds fair enough. I'll take two grand a month. I'll live in my parents' house in the basement. Actually, I lived upstairs in my old brother's room. And they were paying me two grand a month. I was so poor. I remember when I had to buy the train pass for like $140 a month that I was like, oh, damn, this is a lot of money. But I had to prove myself. I had to prove that I can make money trading. So I had to prove that I can make money in this environment. I studied every single day. I lived in my parents' house in the suburbs for a year and a half. Here's a picture of me on the trading floor. So we used a program called MicroHedge, and this is Ready Plus. You can see this is Melissa Lee on CNBC, uh, Craig Luce. I'm still friends with him today. He was my backer, um, LCE. On the trading floor, basically, you got um, you knew everybody by their, their badge, not really their name. So this is me straight from the CBOE. Then what happened? It always happens. You lose all your money. So basically, I was making more money than I was the year before, then the year before, then the year before. And then one day, my ego got the best of me. Okay, And trading is just like running a business. Okay, if you're running a business unsuccessfully, you try to figure out a way to alter it. You know, one time someone emailed me and they're like, hey, AK, can I trade Apple on the one minute bar? You know what I said? If you can trade Apple on the one minute bar, more power to you. I cannot trade Apple on the one minute bar. But if you can, good for you. So what happened? AMAG, I lost all my money. Not all of it, but pretty much all of it. I lost $494,000. And it wasn't one drug announcement. It was the death of a cut, thousand cuts. Basically, cut, 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 cut. And over 16 weeks, I lost almost half a million dollars. It's like the, the uh, Southwest commercial. Want to get away? What do I do? I'm just, I can't believe I lost half a million dollars. This is all the money I have to my name, minus like 100 grand. 
what do I do with myself? So I decided to go to Thailand and teach English in a Buddhist monastery. You can see the date here, 225. This is 212, 20, 20, 2007. Can't believe it was 16 years ago. And you can see here, I was so happy because I was doing what I love to do, educate. I love educating our youth. I love teaching them what I learn, okay? I'm a big proponent of education. I'm a big proponent of reading. I read probably about 70 books a year. Um, I have three books right now that I'm reading at the same time. So I decided to teach. And my backer, Craig, said, you know what? You're a really good trader. Like, you're really good. The problem is your ego got too big. I'll make you a deal. Take some time off. When you come back, you can fund your account. I'll put money in. You put money in. And then we'll see how high we can grow this account. Because I, you know what? I am a really good trader. We all make some mistakes in life. In my trading account, I blew it up. I came back from Thailand. And I go, come on, baby, let's go. And I made close to a million dollars trading Apple two straight years. And it was pretty easy, to be honest. It wasn't anything crazy. So basically, a Merrill Lynch broker would come into our trading pit. And once a week, they would sell credit put spreads in Apple. If an institution is selling credit put spreads, that means they are getting short gamma, short vega, short and long theta and long delta. So every time this trader got long, I got long. Then I started using it for other stocks. And I said to myself, hmm, this isn't that hard. I can do this on other stocks. So instead of going against the hedge funds, instead of going against the institutions, I started trading with the hedge funds. I started to swim with the stream instead of against the stream. Well, what happened? I made close to $5 million trading in two years, maybe three. I think it's two actually. This does not include payment for order flow, seat lease, commissions. Um, so like if you're running a business, this is your revenues. You have costs associated with that. But I made close to $5 million in two years. And sometimes it's weird for me to say that I'm a multimillionaire from trading. A multimillionaire. But you know what? I'm a multimillionaire from trading. I could know, go retire, move to Thailand and Argentina, just chill on the beach, live off my interest on my structured notes. But I would be bored. You know, just from my you know presentation, I want to teach. I want to educate. In my heart of heart, I think the only way to make money in the long term is to trade order flow in the option market. Simple and easy. I've yet to see some anybody trade using um, anything else, technical analysis, market profile, VWAP, um, what other systems are there? Ichimoku Cloud. I've tried to trade Ichimoku Cloud. So I, I stuck with it, okay? And you can see here on my, uh, this is on the trading floor. They use these crazy signals, buy, sell, sell, buy. Here's another example of a trade that we announced in the trading room. Okay, I don't want to show you an example from last week, from January. Let's show you an example from today. Okay, this is the example from today, guys. Simple and easy. It hit one of my scanners. Some trader, somewhere in the world, we never know their stock or option position. About 1,966. Marvell, this week, 43 calls for 20 cents. When I announced this trade, you could have gotten this trade. $20 for a one lot. And I just pulled up the watch list. After they bought these calls, some quote unquote very, very smart trader, someone that might have information to technology that we do not have. Well, what happened? You can see here, let's bring up my watch list again. It's 80 cents. If you got in at 20, out at 80, that would be 300% profit today on that trade but the example in here p a p a r a <clears throat> a trader bought p a r a 1 6 2023 18 and a half calls for 23 cents or 23 dollars per one lot as you can see here the black is the option volume so there's two times things that are important here 
volume or how many contracts trade today? Volume, how many contracts trade today? Open interest or how many exist before today? So we can see here the volume is greater than open interest. This is a clue or a tell that we might want to get into this trade. What happened? These things were up 100% in less than four hours. 100% in less than four hours. If you look at par, the daily chart, your technical analysis trader, you're like, there's no way I would take this trade. Look at the daily chart. It's awful. It's terrible. I'm not taking this trade, but you can see what happened to the price of the option. Option spiked in value. Here's the live trading room, and you can see here, volume, daily chart. Somehow, some trader somewhere in the world is so smart, and they not know to buy calls on the absolute bottom of the stock. What happens? The call option, not the stock, goes up 100% in less than four hours. As you can see here, I took a very small position. I doubled my money, made $130. So not everything has to be so crazy. You don't have to like put $5,000 per trade. I mean, some trades, most of my trades, you can get in less than 100 bucks. 100 bucks you can get in a trade. You know, the example today, Marvell, you could have gotten it for $20. Can we all afford $20 to put on a trade? If you can't afford $20 to put on a trade, you probably shouldn't be trading. And you guys have all taken your first step to become a good trader. First step, simple and easy. Attend an educational webinar. It's the easiest step. Some of you, most of you, will not follow through through the next step, which is to invest in your education. Why do I read so many books? Because for $20, $30, $40, I can get somebody's whole life and their expertise that they've been doing for 10, 15, 20 years for only $20 or $30. And at the end of the presentation, we're going to give every single person here an opportunity to watch me trade live. And if you don't take the next step in your trading, you're going to be left in the dust. You have to be willing to invest in your education. And as I said, guys, if you're a stock or option person, I'm your guy. Let me be your coach, your professor, your guy. If you trade futures or Forex, I'm sorry. I'm not your person. Can't really help you out there. That's not what I trade. I look at it as one of two ways. I Let's say Carl Icahn knew who Andrew Keene was. We all know Carl Icahn does not know Andrew Keene. He's a little bit too rich and important for me. If he was to text me and say, hey, AK, I'm going to put a massive bot bet on in Tesla. Do you want a piece of my bet? You know what I would say? You're Carl Icahn. Of course, I want a piece of your bet, 100%. Maybe I'm in for $50, maybe I'm $5,000, maybe I'm in for $50,000, but you're Carl Icahn. Or number two, I go to the poker room, I find who the best trader in the world is, and then I mimic their position. When they, you know, basically, I'm just mimicking the best traders in the world position. It's reading the tape, guys. You used to be able to read the tape in stocks. You can no longer do that. I am just reading the tape in the derivative space. So let's say you're a smart, smart trader, okay? The best traders in the world aren't trading five contracts. They don't care about $1,000. They're not trading 10 contracts. They're barely trading 20 contracts. The people with information to access and technology that we do not have are trading 2,000. 3,000, 5,000 contracts. Do you think someone that bets a million dollars on a trade doesn't know something out there? Let me ask you the question that. Do you think someone didn't know that Marvell might go up? They could have made 300% in an hour? The 10-year interest rate, because I have a lot of money in tre treasuries and CDs, makes pays 5% a year. Well, some trader is so smart 
that made they made they could have made 300 percent in two hours on that one signal we gave you today so most likely if they're taking a big bet in the derivative space they're an institutional trader okay they're employed by wall street's biggest firms in the world they have a huge track record they have access to a profitable track record we just said that access to information such as buyout rumors earning leaks uh large hedge fund trades non-public information articles have been written about this on zacks wall street journal market watch the street.com and fidelity let me show you an example in feye this was a couple years ago some trader we never know the trader's stock or option position buys five thousand okay he buys five thousand uh, i was trying to buy some goo calls buys five thousand and thirty feye september 15 calls for 45 cents some trader somewhere in the world we don't know their stock or option position okay this trader is about a two hundred twenty thousand dollar bet not the biggest bet not like a million dollar bet but like two hundred twenty thousand dollars like in most states if you if you make uh two hundred twenty thousand dollars you're a top one percent in the world you're the top one percent and this trader says you know what i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna risk this amount of money on fey okay fire eye cyber security buyout rumors on this stock and this trader goes you know what i'm going to take a large trade in fey well guess what happens pete nigerian used to trade on the trading floor as well flagged this trade on cnbc he came in and he said there's some trader out there that's buying five thousand feye set 15 calls well you can see my p l stock ripped to the upside and when i say the stock ripped to the upside i mean it probably went up about seven percent it wasn't anything that crazy feye set calls made seven thousand dollars on this trade i'll repeat i made seven thousand dollars on this trade just from reading order flow and the great thing about this this was a live trading room signal i announce this trade in my trading room i run the trading room for an hour a day four days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday live audio and visual i'm going to show you right now there's chill 217 people in this room they usually stay all day long when i'm in it there's about three to 350. it's not a chat room guys you get personal access to me you want to private message me go ahead and private message me because i'm there for you i made seven thousand seventy one dollars in three hours you can see my p l in ea electronic arts i made three thousand dollars american airlines sorry alcoa thirty seven hundred dollars this is known as wall street's tricks of the trade they will make a trade in the derivative space after they make a trade in the derivative space brokers will then push stock to their clients mutual funds will then take positions in the same stock market makers i was a market maker if i sell call options how do i properly hedge myself i properly hedge myself by buying stock Okay, so I'll properly hedge myself by buying stock. And this is what we call the Wall Street money market, money making machine. This is how they make sure the stock goes up. What other tricks can that cut that um, firm do after they buy the call options? Analysts will issue upgrades and downgrades. Do you think it's a coincidence that Goldman Sachs are there they have analysts and they also have traders they're not supposed to know what the their, their analysts are going to do the next day i've seen analysts upgrade stocks so many times the day after they bought call options 
positive stories in the financial press. Hindenburg Research just came out and said, short square. How can you come up with a research information that's 100 pages that you say short square and you're already short? It? They could cover their stock. They could write a 15 page perspectives telling you to short square and be short it. They're going to drive the stock down and then they could cover it if they want. We never know. Goldman Sachs had 236 profitable days. I repeat, Goldman Sachs had 236 profitable days. They lost 15 days. Does that make you shake your head a little bit? Do you want to be on the side of the institutions and the big money? Or do you want to just trade blind? Okay. I am a multimillionaire from trading. How? Trading the way that I still trade. And I've been doing it for 22 years. Stealth trades have a profound impact on stock pricing. Buying can send the stock higher. Selling can send the stock lower. Very few things can move a stock like these trades. These trades impact where the stock can go to. Simple and easy, guys. You're either on the team of thinking that hedge funds trade on inside information, or you're on the side where they don't. If you are a stock or option person, let me be your coach. Let me be your guide. You get me every day for the whole year. If you want to get me for the whole year, we run one of the biggest live audio and trading, visual trading rooms in the world. I think we're the biggest, I'm not 100% sure, on the biggest paid audio and visual trading rooms, not chat. What reveals what hedge fund managers and other institutions are doing at critical times. I, Investor Business Daily said that. Here's another example. Target. What do we see? We see the big volume. Remember, the black is the option volume. The blue is the stock price. So we can see here the option volume spike in value. After the option volume spikes in value, what happens to the price? Wow, it coincidentally goes up. This trade, I made $3,150 in five weeks. Criteria, and now I've been trading a little bit more expensive options. But most of the trades, you can get in for less than $100. We showed you the example of Marvell today that went up 300% uh, just today. So $0.20 cents to $0.80. Cents. Let's look at an example of Walmart. Walmart went from $93 to $100. Okay? $93 to $100. What's that? 8%. The call options, the in-the-money call options went up 93%. But the out of the money call options went up 390%. Let's do a breakdown of this. Let's say you had $3,000 to invest on a trade. And you came in here, you bought the in the money 90 calls. Those are trading for $7.25. You bought four of them. Cool. You have $3,000 of risk. This went to $5,700. Not bad. 93% profit. I'm sure we'll all take 93% profit. Comma, but you could have, instead of that, bought the 105 calls. The 105 calls are trading 50 cents. For the same $3,000, you could have bought 60 of the 105 calls. As the stock went to 93 to 100, the 90 calls doubled in value. 93% profit, we said. Not bad, not bad at all. Comma, but the 105 calls went from 50 cents to $2.45. So bought the 90 calls, you can make $5,700, turned it into $5,700. But you bought the out of the money calls. Out of the money calls have higher gamma, have higher theta, have higher risk and higher reward. You could have made $14,700 on this trade. So which would you rather make? You tell me. I know my answer. Remember, delta is the measure of how much an option moves with $1 stock move. Higher delta on the in the money options, price move, big gains, but as a small percentage. 
out of the money options can move as well. Small price move, big percentage gains due to the fact that they have high gamma compliance with it. Remember, 20 days since. Here is the criteria that I look for. 20 to 80 cents on these trades. Delta, 15 to 45. And that's what I look for. That is my sweet spot. Let's look at Marvell again from today. Marvell, 20 cents. Went to 80 today. 20 to 80, guys. 20 to 80. That's unbelievable. Every day is not going to be like that, let's be honest. Here's another one in Alibaba. We have that live trading room signal to hit the trading room. Announced it to my subscribers in Alibaba within two days. That trade went up 800%. Alphabet, other known as Google. <laughs> the Google calls went up 1,400% in five days. Here are some testimonials uh, straight from the trading room. We do not pay to play. I do not give people any money to write testimonials. But let's go through some of these testimonials. David B. Said, KWEB, 110% profit overnight. Raja, thank you, AK. You're the best. You rock. David H, AK, you rock. Wakar R, yesterday's ARKK call sold for 80% profit. Okay. We do not ask people to write testimonials. We do not prove that these testimonials are accurate or valid. But this is what people tell us. Jacqueline. Uh, nice, Daniel. Uh, John S, 172% Baba. Um, Tim, 350% in KWeb. Bobby W, 160% in, uh, in uh, Baba. What percentage of these big trades do not work out? Um, so it just depends. We have different portfolios out there. Um, and I don't can't due to compliance, I can't tell you what percentage make money, which percentages don't make money. So the answer is simple and easy. AK, you rock. So we end want to introduce you guys, and we have plenty of time for questions today. The best live trading room in the world. Quote unquote, that's always offered in my opinion. Okay. So when you guys sign up today, do you find this information important and valuable? Do you like what I said today? Do you trade options at all? Do you trade stocks at all? If you do, you're not going to want to miss this offer. This is the cheapest price point we've ever offered this. If you trade futures or Forex, this program is not for you. We're going to give you access to the live trading room. Okay, so I'm going to put some stuff right here. They're buying some Oracle and Google calls. So I'm telling the traders in the trading room that they're buying the Oracle and Google calls. Okay. You will get one month access to the live trading room. When you purchase today, not if you purchase. Like I said, guys, I don't need to do these webinars anymore in life. To be honest, I barely make any money on these. I want to teach my system, my trading to many people as possible in the world. I've had over a million people watch my, my videos throughout the years. So you're going to get one month of the live trading room. It's open at about 9 o'clock every single day, Eastern Standard Time. It goes all night long. If you want to put any comments in there, you can. I run it with full audio and visual for the first hour, four days a week. So you'll get access to me for four hours a week. And then also I have another moderator that runs it for another two hours, five days a week. So you're going to get about 15 hours of audio, okay? You're going to get unlimited email support. Plus, we will send you all the trades via email, okay? So you'll get all the trades via email, one month of the trading room. This is our lowest price ever offered. I do not know how many spots we have available, but this will go very, very quickly. 
Last year, I was told by Agora, because I used to be a guru at Agora, I flagged over 500 100% winners. I'll repeat that. Last year, I flagged over 500 100% winners. So this is what you guys get. You get one month of the live trading room. Try it out for a month. If you cannot afford the $99 that the trading room costs, then you shouldn't be trading. If you like my presentation, if you like options, if you like stock, try it for one month. We have people that come in two times a month. If you come in two times a month, it's only $50 a session. It's a $399 value here. Unlimited email support, okay? People email me whenever they want. They have questions about you know, putting on stop loss or stuff like that. I'll give you my personal email information. Um, also, we have great customer support, $497 value. You also get Trade King's email alerts. Those will be all the trades that are official signals sent to your email. It's That price is wrong. It's $1,100 off, guys, and you can sign up today for $99. We do have limited amounts of spots, so make sure you sign up now. It's alphashark.com forward slash March promo. If you guys have any questions, please put it into the chat box right now. You will get access, okay? And this program usually goes for $2,000 a year. We are giving you guys the lowest price we've ever offered it before. So I bought Google 421, 2023, 107 calls for 370. Stop loss 150, targets five and 650. So I'm putting a trade in there for subscribers. Okay, so I'm just putting a trade in for subscribers and Google into the trading room. And then I put Oracle 331, 2023, 91 calls for 65, stop loss. So I'm giving them trades right here now, real time and live. Boom. So everyone again, Paul's in, Kenny is in, Chris is in, Barbara is in. We have a limited amount of spots, guys. Let's go through the program one more time. It's the lowest price we've ever offered it. Okay. So you're going to get one month of the live trading room. Also, you will be grandfathered in at that price point. We will never raise the price on you. Okay. So once you guys sign up, you'll be grandfathered in. To be honest, at 99 bucks, I make like $10 on this. I really don't make any money. I just want everybody to teach everybody, um, you know, how I trade. So one month of live trading room, $399 value. Unlimited email support, $497 value. Trade King email alerts, $497, guys. 99 bucks. It's less than a cup of coffee a day. I went to the, got a coffee today. It was like... 550 for a large coffee. I do wheatgrass shots. Um, those are five bucks a pop. So you can sign up here, guys. I'm going to read your name if you're in. Let me go into my, my back end CRM and see who else is in. If you guys have any questions, please put this in the chat box. If you like stocks, if you like options, I'm your person. Futures or Forex, no so much. So let me go in here and read your name. If you're in, $99 will get you in for a month after that. If you don't like it, 99 bucks. And you can actually write this off on your taxes because it is for education purposes only. So you can save 40% on it right there. Any questions you guys have at all, just put it in the chat box and I'm gonna read your name if you're in. If you're not in, no harm, no foul. Good luck trading, you're gonna need it. Any questions at all, guys? HTTP, let me put the link in here. <coughs> HTTP, backslash, backslash, alphashark.com. I put it in the chat for you, Andrew. Okay, cool. Thank you. Any questions at all? Otherwise, forever hold my peace. Okay, we're counting down. He's got nine minutes left, you guys. If you have questions, please ask them now. Do you offer trading videos? 
So the trading room is always recorded, so you can go back and then watch any of the trading room videos, um, but we don't offer trading videos. This is more of an active trader community. If you don't know anything about options, you will pick up how to trade. Um, so yes and no. I mean, the trading room itself is a trading video. Andrew, do you take every one of the big option trade signals? Uh, no, I probably usually have, like if I looked at my portfolio, I always have, um, I probably, these are all my positions. So I probably have, and you know, obviously I've been trading for a long time, so I can have more positions than most people. I tell people to have like three to five open positions. You can see here's my PL for the day. I'm up $1,633 and I have probably about 30 positions on total. So about 30 positions on and I'm having a good day. Obviously the market's higher, um, but I'll tell you which trades I like, which ones I don't like. It's basically a once in a lifetime experience. If you've never gone to the trading room before, just try it for a month. It's going to cost you $99. Um, that's simple and easy. I mean, we've never offered the price this low and I've been running it for 12 years. <laughs> good deal. Any other questions, guys, girls? Dogs, I take questions from dogs, cats. Can we buy your software? Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> you can buy all the scanners at optionhacker.com. Uh, she put in option hackers, it's just option hacker. So optionhacker.com, you can buy all the scanners. The scanners are expensive though. They're, they're like $2.99 to $4.99 a month where you can just watch me trade real time and live for only 99 bucks a month. I, if I was you, which I'm not, um, I would just be doing, watch me trade. I'm back with AK. It's been eight years. Great. Love it. I've been running the room for 12 years. So I've been running the room for a long time. <laughs> 